Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, this is probably one of the most bullish stories I've ever covered. PayPal's stock soars to all-time high as demand for Bitcoin on the platform now more than supply of new coins. And we're going to go over what this means for PayPal and all the other businesses who are eventually going to get in during 2021. But before we talk about that little snippet, just as a reminder, today is the other 12 days of Christmas. So yesterday we gave away uh, the stone books. Actually, we gave away two. We're going to draw two today. And then for today's video, we're going to be giving away uh, two Nano Ledger X's. So there's always two videos per day. And the one that I do in the morning usually is like a snippet, like a little quick video. And then later in the day, we go over more detail type things. So today, uh, just comment on today's video. Just put in, in the comments, Ledger. And then uh, also put in one of my uh, sayings that I usually say on this channel. It could be anything. It could be a tomato coin or I got to tell you, whatever it is, all it is. Just put something in there, Ledger, and then a uh, one of the sayings that I do. And we'll draw the Nano Ledger X. Uh, later uh, in the day for the next video. So before we jump into today's little snippet, let's uh, draw some names. First of all, let's go all the way down. A lot of people wanted to have this shield folio. I don't blame you, it's awesome. And uh, let's just Bram Yield. All right, and then we'll go all the way up or just up a little bit and then we'll just stop and pick somebody random and er, Kenny Springer. So Bram and Kenny, if you would be so kind, just go over to danteachescrypto.com, click on the contact tab, and then send me an email, and then I will hook you up with uh, Freddie, the CEO of Shieldfolio, and he will set you up with your books. Okay, now that sounds good to it. So first up, PayPal stock stores. So this, like I said, this is a great story, and uh, it was pretty much what I thought was going to happen. So this is what's going down. So performance... Everything that goes on with, with PayPal, there was a report that came out, uh, Q3, and it's uh, it's third quarter earnings earnings in October. There was a drop, and that was kind of concerning to PayPal. And so what they did was they did a very smart play, and they said, you know what? And they already had this in the pipeline. We're going to offer cryptocurrency. And they did the exact same thing that Square did. Square's cash app, uh, it drove half of its entire revenue in the fourth quarter, half. So when there was... Uh, all these different uh, rumors circulating that PayPal might get in cryptocurrency. I was like, well, duh, who, why wouldn't they? I mean, look what happened with Square. All I got to do is just add some cryptocurrency. And then all of a sudden, poof, magic revenue from nowhere. And that is exactly what happened. So here is the stock price of PayPal. And to blow this up, we'll just go over here. Take a look at PayPal uh, over the year to date. Uh, not too bad, right? 91 in, uh, in March, eh, pretty low over here in January, 110. Now we're looking at 214. So if you invest in PayPal, congratulations. But it's not just that. I mean, if we want to really take a look back, uh, the year is the same thing. Five years. Look at what happened over five years. They were at 32 bucks. And now look where they're at. 217. So if I'm a business, I'm an entity, I'm a corporation, and I'm out there, I'm going, hmm, how can I increase my revenue? Oh, well, I can offer cryptocurrency. That looks pretty good. And Ico Strategy, the exact same thing. And this is their stock price. So not too shabby. This is year to date. And this is, so they didn't really get into it until, uh, they actually bought it in around August, around here. Then they made it public and there was a little spike. And then it kind of came down a little sideways and people realized what they did. And then all of a sudden the price started to double and they're like, wow, they're geniuses. We'll invest in a micro strategy. Now take a look at a, a year ago, five years ago, same thing. So when businesses are looking at what's going on in the background, like, okay, wait, we can increase our stock price, check, we can also get rid of this uh, fiat, which is actually being debased by all this quantitative easing or money printing, check. And we can make our stockholders happy, check, check, check. Why wouldn't they do it? So 2021 is gonna be a very, very big year. I predict, like I've been predicting all the time. So to get even more bullish, this is from uh, Brian Keane. He's an analyst at Deutsche Bank. He says, a recent PayPal survey revealed that 54% of PayPal users have an interest in its crypto offerings. And we believe there has been strong interest in demand thus far. Obviously, even more powerful is the frequency of visitors to the PayPal commerce portal from crypto users, which will lead to higher customer engagement and more monetizable transaction. And of course, as a reminder, uh, Q1 2021, PayPal users are going to be able to use cryptocurrencies for all the different PayPal merchants, which is like 28 million of them on this entire network. So I'm just going to ask you a question. Uh, for Christmas shopping, did you do 100% of that foot traffic? Did you go to the store, buy something, wrap it? Or did you like 
I don't know, maybe go online, maybe purchase some things, maybe a little Amazon action. I'm going to guess the majority of you, not everybody, uh, did something like that. So when you're looking at the future of what is about to happen, well, we're going to do a lot of shopping online. We're going to do a lot of viewing online. We're going to be a lot of online players. We're going to do business online. That's why all these companies are taking off. So uh, in the future, uh, which is like tomorrow, <laughs> just not too far away, 2021, we'll say, um, just expect massive things. I mean, it just, to me, like when I look at this, it doesn't, it, does, it only makes sense it goes this way. Tell me where I'm wrong here in the comment section. Moving down and to finish up, Bill uh, Barrett, the CEO and co-founder of Abra, states this, PayPal alone now fulfills more Bitcoin demand than the amount of Bitcoin created daily. In 2021 or 22, we'll likely see a retail Bitcoin ETF. First of all, don't hold your breath. I've been hearing this same song and dance since I got in in 2017. And actually, I did a little a video last year and it had Roger Veer. This is in 2012. And he said, hey, an ETF right around the corner. So I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, maybe, but I, I just don't see it. Demand will likely go up 100x at that point during that ETF. Sure. So here's the big question. If PayPal is buying up so much Bitcoin and there's no more left, and you've also got Grayscale buying a ton of it, and you also have MicroStrategy buying a ton of it, and you also have all these other institutions which are hiding the background, which are under the uh, cloak of darkness buying it, and then people like you and me are buying it, why is the price still at 19.3? you would have thought it would have blown up already. Well, there's a couple of things. First of all, Bitcoin still thinks that there is a circulating supply of 18 and a half million. That is totally false. There has been a minimum loss of 2 million over the years, up to 6 million. That's the first thing. The second thing is a lot of these organizations are buying things OTC over the counter, which means uh, they're not really going through exchanges, pretty much direct type of thing. But here's the problem. They can only do that for so long. You can only buy OTC until the, until the players are like, sorry, uh, we're all out. So you're going to have to start doing things, regular exchanges. And that's just kind of how it's going to have to be. And the third and final thing is this, and I've said this uh, almost every video now, is that uh, there is little news that'll that'll get leaked out. Uh, Brian Armstrong will do something goofy with a Twitter account, or there'll be some kind of news article about the government's going to ban this and that, and people get scared and they sell. And then that's great because all the institutions know exactly where this is going. They all know. So they're just waiting to scoop up all your Bitcoin. So go ahead and sell. I mean, this is not financial advice. You can do whatever you want to. You can sell tomorrow. That's fine. People need money. Hey, that's okay. But if you want to wait it out and just see how far this could go, I would recommend just to hold on. That's what I'm going to do. You can do whatever you want. But I firmly believe that there are some psyops, little psychological warfare going on, and they're causing people to drop their Bitcoin. So expect another dip uh, for some stupid reason, some goofy news article, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyhow, that's it for uh, this video. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment in, in, below. Just say uh, ledger and just put whatever uh, phrase they usually use here, and then I'll pick uh, the, the winner for tonight's video. And that's it. So thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you uh, later tonight.